salmon is so good. It's just flaky. Yeah. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Castle, you know, castle. What's good, my sunshine? So, I am back with another video. So, as y'all see, I'm eating me some snob kitchen. I got me some salmon, some greens, some mac and cheese. I got me some cornbread. Y'all just don't know how she make this cornbread. And I got me some um yellow rice. So, I'm finna do a mini mukbang with y'all. Let me try to get y'all set up the right way. I'm doing a mukbang with Snob's Kitchen. I'm going to give y'all my review and what I think about her food. How about that? Okay, so we are packed. So, as y'all see my food as it's entire, I like to set up how I want y'all. I don't mind saying y'all shouldn't inside of my head because everybody quarantined. Everybody quarantined. So, I just want to touch bases with y'all and let y'all know how I've been doing and how everything been going. So, as y'all know, I am working for the um, quarantining. I'm trying to see where the camera is. So, I can look at y'all you know, better. So, um... As everybody know, I am a store manager for a gas station. If you don't know, now you know. So, I'm working. Throughout all this coronavirus, this scare, all this stuff. Oh, this salmon is so good. It's just flaky. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Castle, you know, castle. So, I'm trying to waste my this food because I don't even eat in my bed like this. <laughs> I always sit on the edge. Y'all know I always sit on the edge. Huh? As you know, I, um. So, I have to be to work. So, heck, they have cut my hours. So. With them cutting my hours, I ain't got no people. Let me try to wipe this off. Hold on. That's better. Sorry, y'all. Should have been in that. <laughs> y'all can see much better. I see much better. Thank you. Um, left for me trying to fix it on there. So anyway. Wait, y'all start skipping through my video. Everybody gotta wear a mask. Everybody gotta be, um, wear, everybody walking around with gloves on. People ain't wearing gloves, right? People walk around here contaminating everything, making shit worse. Excuse me, making stuff worse. It's just ridiculous. I don't wanna be around nobody. I don't know about to touch me. I mean, I, I, because I'm working, I I come home, I take a shower, and then I'm in my room. Because, like, honestly and truly, I don't know what I'm contracting during the day. I do try my best to be as precaution as I can. I got my mask, I got my gloves. You know? I've had a close encounter with somebody that had coronavirus that got tested positive. Mm. You know? I won't put nobody out there. Hold on. Oh, I'm gonna y'all. So, well, then behold, that was Miss Page. So, calling me. But so, that's good. Because I like my, my salmon pink. Like this. You know? It was perfect. Just like this. Perfect. She usually charge it on the top and make it like 
a little glaze on the top, like crunchy, I guess, kind of like get a little char. I guess how you say it. I don't care for the char. I like it just like this. But anyway, back to the quarantine. Y'all, I should pay. I'm gonna put her description down to the link. Food is awesome, y'all. I'm trying to tell you. That's why I'm doing a mukbang with it. The food is awesome. I buy food every week. She got fried ribs too, but my kids are already devoured them. So I can't even show y'all the ribs. But I will show y'all a picture because I did do a, um, a video with some. So I'm going to put that down to the, um, I'm going to try to post that in here so y'all can see it. Probably nine. Nine. I was probably supposed in to between. get my video in, get all my stuff going. I done messed up. I done so, started yeah. eating. Those are Y'all better get y'all snob. Awesome. Uh, kitchen. Y'all better stop playing. So I'm noticing that she's doing it every time. Fried ribs is everything. It tastes like some so, yeah. pork chops. Make sure y'all check her out. Get a, get a meal. It's worth it. It's worth it. It's worth it. She got family meals and all. I'm gonna post it up there. Okay, now back to the quarantine. Mm -hmm. Then we got this number forty-five. Yes, that's his name. Number forty-five. That. You know what I mean? Don't have a worry in the world. Don't have a care in the world. Ain't worrying about us or nothing else about us. Kids not in school. Now they got this thing, what they call it, phase one and phase two, phase three. Hopefully that's not illegal documentation and I'm posting up here. I'm showing y'all. So, this is the phases that we're supposed to be in. To sum it up. All this is up to the governor that we elected. All all these decisions, when we go to phase one, phase two, and phase three, he's leaving it up to the governors. People like me and you. Basically, that was perfect page. It just lemony, the season, the fish just, the seasoning, I mean, the quality, it was good. It was good. It was good. It was well worth it. I'll buy it again next week. Sure will. So, try not to drink, because I already messed up and drunk my arm. And then drink the tea first. I'm about to drop my tea. 30 minutes before I ate this meal. And I didn't. I probably ought to eat it all. But I did do it this morning. Yeah. So. That's what he do. So, now he is leaving this up to the governors in order to tell us what we're doing as far as going to phase one, phase two, phase three. Page, that was awesome. So now, I don't have a phase in front of me, but I do know that, Sorry, y'all. I do know that phase one is more of opening beaches, opening local stuff, things like that of the nature. Still 10 feet apart, still this, this, and that. Still less, still 10 people, I mean, less than 10 people in the stores and stuff like that. Phase two, though, is somebody sending kids back to school. Me, my dad, me, my dad, my kids ain't going back nowhere. Nope. They sure ain't. You know why? Because at the end of the day, Teachers can pass it to the kids, and they say that the kids don't show symptoms, but the kids can pass it on. So why the hell would you have all these damn kids pass it on? I mean, I don't watch a lot of TV. I don't watch a lot of news. I do be on Facebook. I do see the little Channel 7, well, Channel News come up with this, 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 and that, um, and things like that. But other than that, I read a lot. Everything you read ain't 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 right, they say. 
everything you read ain't real, but yeah, I read a lot. So with that being said, he's talking about opening up schools. My kids ain't going back to school because my kids ain't finna bring nothing home. It's enough that I, I'm alone going to work and coming home. Nah, they going to school around all these different people coming from all different kind of lives, all different kind of nationality, clean, dirty houses, sorry to say. God forbid we have hoarders, we have clean people, we have neat people. We have people that just keep their house just together enough just for company. We got people that just, it's dirty. I'm sorry, call it what it is. I, once upon a time, used to be that girl that did not like to clean up. I, I can admit to that. And I'm not ashamed of it. But, um, it's not a pretty sight. So, with that being said, you're going to have my child around these people. No offense to nobody. No offense to anyone. But, it comes with growth. So, Bob! Just, like, think of it in a natural. Like, this is real life stuff we're talking about. So, you know, we're at a real life crisis, which is cool. I mean, this is a uh, epidemic, a pandemic. Okay, I need something to drink. Can I just put this in there, please? Yeah, I call you. Yeah, why you yeah, so I ain't come. And I'm doing a video. Say hi to my YouTubers. You ain't got to speak in the video. He ain't looking right. See, these kids can't even go to the barber. You got to call the barber. You got to still be social. Mm -hmm. I just told you I want something to drink. And I wanted you to throw that away. And close the door. So, you know, these kids can't do nothing. These, I mean... Look at me. I can't go get no hat. It was one hat so open, but I ain't going to put nobody's business out there. But I couldn't even get it. And I don't even know if they still open. Like, I need hair. I need to do my hair. Like, come on. I, I love it to open, but what's going on with the coronavirus? What's going on with this virus that y'all just trying to just open up everything? Is it still cold? Because y'all ain't put nothing in the refrigerator. You check to see which one was the coldest. Okay, see if the other one colder. You see my kids, they deep. Got a little girlfriend on the phone, don't want to talk to me. Thank you! Give me time to say thank you. But well, anyway, it's just crazy how things are, you know? And you, you just, I mean, people get mad and want to walk in the store like this. Like, that's no protection. What, what protection is that? It's enough that they allow you to put a damn shirt around your face. What is this? What is this gonna help me? So soon as your if you sneeze and your shirt falls, then we'll you sneeze on me and you think that's cool? No, Papa Chulo, you cannot come my store like that. Simple, simple math. Like I don't know. Pass the words. If you if you watch me, pass the words to everybody else. You know, just 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 throw that out there. The reason why you have to have a mask on, for those who just don't like to wear masks, some people just don't like to wear masks. I don't like to wear that mask, but I got to wear a mask. So, if, you know what I mean? Just throw that out there. You know, the reason for the mask, because you know sometimes you say, and then you, it's, it's going to come right through that shirt. That's why it was, you know, people don't, people don't think like that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, I ain't going to sit and just keep lollygagging with y'all, lollygagging, but, you know, You talking about social distance is going to be the 2022. 2022? Social distance? Do y'all see these people out line, standing outside in the lines, waiting to go on Family Dollar? I mean, Dollar Generals? And, oh, no. Y'all not want to go on all these. Y'all not outside of my garden. I just wanted to go on all these to see if they had a greenhouse. That's the only thing I want. I just wanted a greenhouse. A green, that's all I want. A greenhouse. The line is from here to around the corner. Of the damn stove. Who want to stand outside like that? You, it's, 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 it is a pandemic. It is crazy. But Bush talked about this. Obama talked about this. But number 45 want to get in the seat and want to act like he don't know what the hell going on. He act like he didn't know about this. He just act dumb. For, he just, I, uh, number 45. Mm-mm. Whoever thought that when I turn 35, number 45 would be an a-hole. You know? 
Why it can't be like when Bush was back was in the seat? Why it can't be like when everybody else was back in the seat? When it was when I was growing up. <laughs> I don't know, man. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like, comment, and subscribe button. Y'all make sure y'all hit that bell so you can get notifications whenever that girl upload a video. Yes, y'all. So, as I told y'all that a lot of my stuff that I talked about with y'all, a lot of things that I want to do with y'all this year, it's just like I crumble. I want to do like the read-along, the book thing. But it's like, I read books. I have a lot of books. Right now, I'm reading the um. I'm reading the, um, Jesus Christ, I still have it. I'm trying to finish up this book right here, The Greatest You by Trent Shelton. So if you want to, um, read with me, you can read along with me. I am on page 88. Okay. So, um, I don't know. If y'all gonna read along, this is a great book. This is a great inspiration. If you don't know uh, Trey Shell in chapter four, okay. If you don't know Trey Shell in, yeah, you missing out on a real good inspirator, ins inspir inspirator, a real great ins um inspire uh, inspiring person. Um, he he um talks a lot about life. And he just tell it how it is. He's all he's ne he's he's has not always been this Trey Shelton. No, he has not. So yeah, if you wanna um read along with me, I am on chapter four, page eighty eight. Um, you can catch up. Um, I haven't been reading it as much as I want to. That's why I can't remember if it was chapter three or chapter four. That's why I would have checked. Um, because I have not read this book about. I want to be honest. I have not read this. Oh, chapter. I usually try to read at least a chapter a night, but I have not read about three, about a week, two weeks, two weeks. I haven't picked up this book. That's not like me. But I do have it on audio, so I, I have already listened to it on audio, but I wanted to physically read it myself. Um, so yeah, um, I have the audio version of him reading it, um, which this is a great book, but I wanted to physically read it. They say when you read a book twice, um, it, it's good. Let me read something to you all that I think is very, um, very good. Your pain has a purpose. People consider saying things to make you like everything is going. Everything is going wrong in my life, and nothing is right. I get it. I understand how you might feel that way at any given time. If you've hit a bad pitch or things aren't going the way you expected or if you haven't reached the place in your life you thought you would be now, but when you say things like that, you we forget that what can't see oh, I mean, sorry y'all. What we forget that we can't see what the future holds. In truth, sometimes things have to go wrong to make things right. In certain took wait a, it took certain it certainly took a lot of things going wrong in my life to bring me to the place I am now sometimes going in the wrong direction actually leads you to the right place maybe wrong isn't wrong at all maybe it's just different paths that you have to take sometimes things you things sometimes things have to turn out a way that you don't want them to so you can future so so your future can turn out better. Maybe something didn't work out because something else is something else something else is in the purpose of working out at a whole nother level. Maybe the particular thing you had gone wrong to push you to that place you never would have gone if you in the first thing wait, let me read that again. Maybe a particular thing had to go wrong to push you to a place that you never would have gone if that first thing had worked out right. Had it succeeded, maybe you never would have gone to you maybe you never would have gone where you needed to go. That right there is very powerful to me. I mean, I can keep going on and on and on, but I just keep reading, y'all. I mean, I... <laughs> but that verse 
there is very that that particular passage there is very powerful to me. You know what I mean? Because you always say, you always say um things to the the nature of um I shoulda coulda woulda why did I do this? Why did this happen? But maybe it should happen. Maybe it, it maybe that's what needed to happen for this to happen. Maybe that what you know what I mean? That's it. Inside, there should be some inside that draw. The second draw. Yeah, like yeah, this one right here. Yeah, this one is fine. Oh, I don't know why. Y'all see it? I don't know. Alright. Oh, yeah, cut the water off. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, you can use it. Um, so yeah. Maybe that one thing just should have happened, you know? So you got to look at life like that. You got to look at things of that nature. You have to take take the time to just say, hey, maybe that supposed to happen in my life. Feel like I done created a whole video for y'all right now. <laughs> make sure y'all hit that like, comment, and subscribe button. And make sure y'all stay safe out there. Make sure y'all uh, keep y'all masks on your face. Don't take this thing lightly. Don't be out there just because they opened up the beaches, just because they opening up stuff. Don't mean you go out there and you be a part of that. Don't be a part of that. I mean, y'all lay low for another month or two. Let this let this coronavirus thing cease. Y'all stay safe. Y'all love me. I love y'all too. Hey, my sunshines. I'm gonna be checking in with y'all. Um, doo -doo -doo. y'all go check me out on IG. Y'all can see me more often. I do try to post every day. Um, I used to try to post every day, but um. I try to give y'all a break because I know my voice get annoying rolling up on y'all screen every day. So I'm like, good morning, good morning, good morning. <laughs> so I try to um give y'all a little break. I've been trying to do like a couple of days. Um, I've been doing my pop office and jewelry. Y'all know I'm a, uh, how you say, trick of all trades. So, you know, I be doing a lot of stuff. Uh, I be having events and stuff going on. I just have a lot of stuff going on. Um, I'm trying to balance that. I'm trying to balance my life. I'm trying to juggle, trying to get that bag. I just want a bag. That's all I want. I'm trying to get the bag. Wherever I can get that money, that bag can fill up, fill up, fill up. Let's make that bag fill up, fill up, fill up. Later.